This is EY stream. He thinks he looks pretty cool. But Pro Gamer 27 doesn't think so. <gasps> Please make him feel better and follow his Instagram and Twitter. Go, go do it now. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? EY Stream back here with another Minecraft video. And today guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can make an actually working coffee machine in Minecraft with no mods or add-ons. That's not guys, 100% vanilla Minecraft. And the best part is it is going to work with any version of Minecraft, whether you're on Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, PC, tablet, iPhone, iPad, whatever it is, this is going to work for you guys. So it's going to be absolutely insane. So you know, when you've been mining all night long and you're tired and you wake up the next Minecraft day and you're like yeah, and you're like a literal walking zombie you can go ahead and make yourself some nice Minecraft coffee drink it up and be like zoop and you are ready to play Minecraft again guys and you will be awake and if you don't like coffee well then this is a working hot chocolate machine it can be either one guys it is really awesome because you know hot chocolate and coffee are kind of that same brownie color like poop color wait why do we drink hot chocolate and coffee if it looks like poop color I don't know, that's a question for another day, but we're gonna go ahead and get straight into this build, guys. So if you are excited, make sure to go down below, drop a like, guys, that'd be absolutely insane. You know what? I want you guys to get a cup of some sort. This is my challenge to you guys. If you guys are able to get like a coffee cup or a mug and hit the like button, make it go blue using a cup, guys. Now, I don't know whether I am, you know, I'm pretty lazy, so I don't think I would ever do that. But if any of you guys are actually able to do that, let me know in the comments down below. I'll be kind of impressed because I don't even know whether you can hit the like button with a coffee cup. Is that how touch screen works? I don't know. But that's my challenge to you guys. So don't do that, guys. And, you know, if you are able to do it, I might leave a love heart on your comment. And, of course, guys, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Hope you're having a wonderful day. As always, make sure to go ahead and smash the subscribe and hit the little bell icon to ling ding ding to never miss another upload. That'll be absolutely insane, guys. But, you know, I've done enough talking. You're probably sick of my voice by now. I'm sorry, okay? I just, I just want to. I want to be loved. <laughs> okay, whatever, guys. We're going to go ahead and start building this coffee machine. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is obviously kind of build like a makeshift kitchen or a makeshift house. Because, you know, it'd be pretty weird if we just built a coffee machine right here in the middle of nowhere. I mean, that'd be pretty strange. So what we're going to do, guys, is build like a quick makeshift kitchen. Now, for this, you guys, this is whatever is your house is like. Obviously, if you're building a house from scratch, here's some really cool recommendations for you. So I'm going to go ahead and use white terracotta as the ground and red terracotta as the wall. And then I'm going to make the bench out of spruce wood and spruce stairs. So this is what we're going to do just for our makeshift wall. Now, of course, guys, if your house is already built and you've built it out of different materials, that is fun, guys. I am totally all down for that customization, guys. You can go ahead and pretty much make your house however you want it to look. I don't really mind. Just whatever you think looks cool is cool with me. But I'm going to go ahead and use these two blocks because I think they make a beautiful, just an absolutely beautiful combination. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll go ahead and build in our wall. If I can build straight, thank you. All right, and we're going to go ahead now. You can go ahead and you can either make this three tall or four tall. Personally, I prefer four tall because it just makes a cooler looking coffee machine. But once again, guys, totally up to you. So now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and build our quick bench. So we go one, two. We're going to leave a space for the coffee machine right here. One, two, three, four, just like that. And then place spruce stairs all across here. So now that we've got kind of our makeshift bench, we're going to go ahead and start making this working coffee machine in Minecraft. I'm also going to show you a few different customizations for it, so make sure to stick around till the end. So guys, for this, you're going to need a lot of stuff, but we're going to start with phase one of our coffee machine. So for this, you're going to need quartz stairs. You're going to need quartz slabs. You're also going to need... Uh, pistons, you're going to need some sort of redstone activation device. So I would personally recommend using a block of redstone since that's the easiest. You're going to need armor stands. You're going to need a pot. And you are... Oh, we're going to need a flower pot. So that should be somewhere down... There it is, right at the bottom here, guys. And we are also going to need a block of glass. So that's everything you're going to need for phase one of our coffee machine. So in this gap that we've left, guys... Now, of course, this might be in your house, so whatever. But you need to leave a gap that's at least too long inside like your bench or wherever you're putting the coffee machine. And you want to place a quartz slab here and then place a flower pot facing outward. So it looks something like this. Now, once you guys have done that, you want to go ahead and place an armor stand facing in this direction, guys. It's really important you get the direction right. Make sure it is facing in this direction. Then once you've done that, you want to go ahead and hold on the armor stand to switch the position it's setting. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, and this is the position you are looking for. Now, you can either have it in position 10 or position 11. It kind of depends what you like the look of. I think this looks fine, 
But uh, you know what? Um, yeah, okay, we're gonna leave it in this position. Once you guys have done that, you wanna go ahead and put your flower pot there. Now the flower pot is, as you can see, going to act as the cup, and this hand is going to act as the tap for our coffee machine, for our coffee to come out of. But it looks pretty weird at the moment because we just got this random armor stand dancing here. So we need to go ahead and make it look more like a coffee machine. To do this, you want to go ahead and place an upside down stair right here. And then we're going to need to go ahead and make a double piston system. To do this, you want to go and dig up two blocks. You want to place a piston here and another piston there. So it looks something like this, guys. Once you've done that, you want to grab your redstone activation device. Go kablam. That'll push that down. And then one more just like that. And you can destroy this. And as you guys can see... Uh, well, yeah, it still doesn't really look like a coffee machine. We gotta add one more thing. You wanna go ahead, put a glass block here, put a single piston this time, and activate that. Push that down. And as you guys can see, if we go ahead and put a quartz slab on top, that is our coffee machine right there. Check it out. We got a flower pot as the cup. We got quartz stairs there, and we've got a little tap. And yeah, it just looks really, really awesome. But we still have a few more details to add, and then of course we have to make this actually work in game now the details i want to add is i want to add coffee beans inside this glass block and you may be thinking ew i strip how do i do that now hold your horses guys it's very very cool and very very simple so for this step guys you are going to need armor stands you're going to need cocoa beans now i know that you know you use caffeine and coffee beans to make coffee but this is the closest thing to things that look like coffee beans in minecraft or if this is a hot chocolate machine well this matches perfectly and you're also going to need name tags and you're going to need an anvil, guys, to so go ahead and grab one of those. Now, this next step is pretty tricky, so hang with me. So first off, we're going to place an armor stand here, and you want to go ahead and put it in the one, two, three, four. Okay, actually, we're going to put cocoa beans in its hand right here so you guys can see what's going on. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, just like that, guys. You can have it in position 10 or position 11, just like that. I think 11 looks better, but it is up to you. And as you guys can see, the cocoa beans are now inside the glass. Then we're going to put an armor stand. Make sure this one's facing backwards this time, guys. This is important. And again, put cocoa beans in. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Just like that. So we've got cocoa beans inside there. And finally, guys, we're going to chuck another armor stand at the back here. So you want to dig down so it is the same level as the other armor stands we placed and place it. Uh, make sure it is facing this way back here, guys. The same way we placed the one inside our coffee machine. Put cocoa beans in his hands. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then, as you can see, that is going to be inside our machine right there. And check it out. We got coffee beans inside our machine. The only weird thing is, is we've got all these dancing armor stands around. Now, if you like dancing armor stands, well, you can keep them. But personally, I would rather they disappear. So to do this, guys, we're going to jump on this side, chuck an anvil down, open it up, go ahead, get a name tag, and rename the name tag to coffee, guys. Just like that. No capitals or nothing. That's super simple. Once you guys have that, go ahead and name each of these outside arm stands coffee. Make sure not to name the inside one. That is super important. And once you guys have done that, you are going to need the beautiful power of command blocks. So go ahead and do slash give at P command block just like this. Now, if you don't have commands in your world, this step isn't necessary. You don't need coffee beans inside your machine. I just think it looks cool. And if you do, go ahead, grab your command block. Now, you obviously can hide this. We're just going to put this behind the wall for simplicity reasons. So we'll go ahead and put that there. And then this command is super important. You want to switch it over to repeat. Then always active. And this command, you might need to pause the video, take a screenshot, guys, if you want to get this down. So it's effect. And then you want to go at E, brackets, uh, name equals. All right, just like that, guys. Don't mistype anything like I just did. You didn't see anything there, guys. So name equals. And then you want to go ahead and spell coffee. Now, remember, guys, no capitals. Coffee is spelled C O double F double E. And then end brackets. Once you guys have done that, you want to go ahead and type invisibility. Go 10 space 10 space true. And make sure that's all good. All right, you can screenshot it now, guys. Leave that. And uh, as you can see, all of our armor stands have disappeared and we're left with coffee beans inside the coffee machine. So it looks like the co coffee beans are being spun around inside the coffee machine, getting sucked up into like this little funnel and coming out the tap here into our pot. Now you may notice the ugly commands in the left hand side. And yes, I'm getting to those. Those are very annoying. To get rid of that guys, go ahead and do slash game rule and then do command block output space false. And if you guys give it a second or two, that is going to disappear from your left hand side. You're not going to have that ugly text there. Now that we've got that, guys, we need to go ahead and fix up this wall. So to do that, go ahead and build like this. Grab your pistons and the redstone from earlier, guys. And we're going to make that exact same double piston system we did the first time. So go ahead, place a... Oh, we need to go a little bit higher here. So we're going to go P, 
Piston, Piston, and then Red Terracotta. Go ahead, activate, activate. Just like that, we're going to need one more Piston right there. And activate, there we go. And then this time you want to place another Red Terracotta and activate that. And we are done. Fill that up. And voila, guys. Check it out. We have an actual coffee machine with coffee beans inside it. Doesn't that look awesome? I think it looks really cool. It kind of looks like they're getting sucked up. And as I said, coming out into your cup. There is one small little thing I want to add before I show you guys how you can get this to actually work. And that is, of course, sugar. Because who doesn't like sugar, guys? So for this, you're going to need some white carpet, some white wool, white stained glass. You're also going to need item frames. So we'll go ahead and grab that. You're going to need sugar. And of course, of course you're going to need sugar. And we're going to also grab a button. So now that we've got all of this, guys, what you want to do is one block, because we know we have that armor stand there, even though it is invisible, it's still there, guys. So we want to come one block across here, dig out the wall, place a white wall here, white stained glass, chuck a white carpet on top, go ahead, put an iron frame out front, and sugar. And there we go, guys. We've got our own little box for the sugar right there. And all around, I think this looks really, really cool, guys. Of course, obviously, it's up to you whether you think it looks cool. I think it does, but that is our coffee machine right there. Now, guys, I gotta show you how you can get this to work in your very own Minecraft world. Now, this doesn't actually need any command blocks, so that is really cool, especially if you are in survival. So we go ahead and we're just gonna extend this across because I thought, you know, it can be a little bit bigger just so it's uh, even and my OCD doesn't die because, you know, if you guys have been watching my channel, you know I need everything to be sent and otherwise I just go, ah! Yep, kind of like that. Anyway, so once you guys have done that, you want to go ahead and place your button right here. Now, it has to be one space away because remember, we've got that invisible armor stand. Once you guys have done that, you want to jump around the back here and you are going to need a few different things. So first off, this time you're going to need a sticky piston, not a regular piston, sticky piston, guys. Also, you are going to need to go ahead and grab a redstone block. You're going to need some redstone. You're also going to need a dropper. And then you want to go ahead and, oh, you know, we'll stick with this. We're also going to grab one repeater and that'll be everything we need for now. So we'll go ahead and grab that. So once you guys have done that, you want to come where your button is. You want to dig it down just like this and you want to place an upside down piston and place a redstone block under here. Now, just make sure this works, guys. Hit your button and boop. And as you guys can see, that's going to push our redstone block down. Now that we know that works, you want to go ahead and place redstone here just like that. And you want to go directly where your coffee machine is and dig one block down right here, guys, and then a second block. Then you want to go ahead and dig under here. So we're going to go ahead and we need to connect our redstone across here, guys. So we'll go ahead, dig down. And voila, guys, as you can see, we have a perfect connection. What you want to do is place a drop up facing upwards right here, and then you can cover it up with your white terracotta or whatever your floor block is, guys. Then you want to go ahead and get redstone coming down here and file it into our dropper. And just in case, guys, it might be a little long, make sure to put a redstone repeater right next to your dropper and then you can go ahead and fill this back up with your floor block. And of course, guys, you can go ahead and hide this with whatever you want. You know, as you can see, you can kind of just hide this. Um, you don't have to. It, it's just totally up to you guys. You could even put this underground if you wanted to. I'm just going to kind of do a quick, uh, a quick little job here because we're here for a good time. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Now that we've done that, guys, when you press this button, you can't see anything, but it's actually activating the dropper here. So now we need the machine to give us coffee. Now to do that, guys, you want to go ahead and choose whatever your coffee is. Now, unfortunately, we don't have coffee in Minecraft, guys, in case you hadn't noticed. So what I would recommend doing is either using milk or because, you know, coffee makes you like super hyper, right, guys? I could you could also use a potion of swiftness. Then you want to go ahead and grab a few of those. So we're going to grab some potion of swiftness. We'll grab some milk here, guys. All right, bang, bang, bang. And then we're going to go ahead and jump around to our anvil, which I covered up. That was really dumb of me. But we'll jump around to our anvil. And what you want to do is go ahead and rename your milk to coffee, just like that. Or if you want it to be the potion of swiftness, you can rename that to coffee as well. And then you can do that for, you know, how many coffees you want. It's totally up to you guys. So go ahead and do that. And now we've got some coffee right there. Now, once you guys have done that, you want to go ahead and destroy this block where your dropper is. Open it up. Chuck your coffee inside there. And now, guys, check this out. Ready? Clear inventory. I'm going to switch into survival, show you that it 100% works. Ready, guys? We go ahead and hit the button. All right, hit the button, please. There we go. And voila, check it out, guys. I have coffee. I just had to hit the button and check that out. We have coffee inside our inventory. And there you have it, guys. A working coffee machine or hot chocolate machine. You can, of course, rename the coffee to hot chocolate. Or you can also rename it to whatever drink you want it to be, guys, just by chucking it in an anvil, guys. And then putting that drink inside your dropper right here. And then now, whenever you come up here and you want to go ahead and get some coffee, go ahead, chuck some sugar in your machine, go ahead, hit the button, 
And voila, check it out, guys. This time we got our coffee that gives us our speed too. And then now, I'm super hyper. I drank my coffee and I'm like, blah, 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 Just kidding, guys. But no, seriously, I drank coffee before the start of this video, so I am a little bit hyper. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, learned something new. If you did, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can always get the coolest, bestest builds before any of your friends do, guys. And that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. I will see you in the next one. Hyper, Ewa, stream out. Bye.